An affordable housing complex is coming to your backyard. Catholic. Catholic. Oh, go ahead. Catholic Charities is preparing the old motel off Government Way and Sunset Boulevard for demolition. We don't know when they'll start building, but neighbors say they feel left out of the conversation. Vanessa Perez explains what we know so far. Asbestos is starting to be removed from the motel, Catholic Charities says. It'll be home to affordable housing for families. Neighbors say they want more transparency and are concerned about how it could change the community. Andre Dove is the pastor of Restoration Church just right across the street. He noticed crews working at the motel days ago. He says he has no problem with Catholic Charities' current plans, but worries that could change. This going to be a no-barrier shelter. Is this going to be legitimately what you say it's going to be? Or do you have something under your sleeve that you're not willing to expose yet? And then it's going to just happen upon us. He and other community members say the nonprofit has not reached out. As one of the spokespersons in the community would be able to relay that information back to the community to kind of to set the emotions at ease. Joe Long lives up the street from the motel. He also thinks affordable housing is a good idea, but he too wants transparency from the nonprofit. How much more can we as a community and property owners withstand? Um, we're, we're, we're down at the park every day picking up garbage. We're pick, we, you know, we've picked up needles in the past. Joe says he's also concerned about what this will do to his property value. Sitting here saying, no, don't come here, we don't want you. We're sitting here and saying, okay, makes sense. We need it here in Spokane. How are we going to do it and how does it affect all of us within our community? Catholic Charities declined to do an interview today, but a spokesperson tells us the project is not fully funded and they have no set time frame on its completion. Live in studio, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now. Vanessa, thank you.